Hi everyone, it's Ardeth, and today and tomorrow I've got a couple of really quick videos using some of the new Essentials by Ellen goodies that were released on Friday. Today's video uses the new Mondo Gerber Daisy and my signature Misty Turn technique, as well as some fun Copic dot coloring. To start, I placed the Daisy on my Misty, positioning it so I could get four impressions of it without any overlap. I used Copic Friendly Black Ink to get the four impressions, and I made sure that the square panel was right in the corner of the Misty each time. Once the stamping was finished, I started by coloring the daisies. I used cool grays to shade and color the petals to make them look white. I worked from lightest to darkest and back again to get a good blend with some deep shadows closest to the daisy center and on the petals that are clearly behind the other petals. Next, I moved to the flower centers. When I looked at photos of Gerber daisies, they seemed to have quite a bit of dimension. So I marked the back of my panel so I would remember which way was up when it came to shading them. To me, it looks like the centers go deeper around the edges and in the very middle, but have a raised ridge surrounding the center. I tried to achieve that look by shading using a few yellow markers, again working from light to dark and then back to light again for a good blend. Once the daisies were done, I wanted to have a background that would really make them pop. I chose blues to contrast with all the white and yellow, and I started by just outlining the daisies with the mid-blue marker for coverage and contrast. Then I filled in the background with dots of Copic color, moving from my pure blue to a purpley blue and then to a blue-green, and finally I brought in a bright yellow-green for some more pop. This took a bit of care and time, but by having that blue outline around the daisies that I did first, I didn't have to worry about trying to get my dots too close to the white petals. For my sentiment, I used the new Hello Scripty die, which has a shadow as well as the word. I cut the shadow from vellum cardstock and ran a bead of stardust stickles around the edge for some sparkle. I cut the Hello word two times from ebony cardstock and I used some liquid glue to stack them up before gluing them to the vellum base. To finish the card, I used liquid glue behind the hello to attach the vellum to the daisy panel and then adhered the panel to a white card base. I hope you enjoyed this video. I think this Mondo Daisy is going to quickly become one of my go-to flower stamps, along with some of the previously released Mondo flowers. Thanks so much for watching. See you next time.